So, thank you for being patient and uh, staying to the better end. Um, I, I'd like to promise the best presentation at the end, but uh, probably not. Um, one. No, I can't get it onto um, slideshow. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, uh, my company is a component manufacturer. We we manufacture. Um, fan motor assemblies for, for OEM applications, for fan coil units, for air handling units, for um, refrigeration, air conditioning condensers. So um, here in uh, the Middle East, our customers are um, the likes of Coolex here in Kuwait, uh, SKM in UAE, Zamil, Saudi Arabia, and uh, Petra in Jordan. And usually, um, because we supply OEMs, I'm talking about new build projects, putting energy efficient fans into new applications. Um, but actually, over the last few years, um, we've become more and more involved in retrofit, retrofitting existing installations with our uh, energy efficient fans. And, and I guess that makes sense because I think someone in a previous presentation said something along the lines of 90% of the buildings we occupy today will be occupied in 2050. So, yeah, you know, they could be retrofitted several times over, over a lifetime. So, um, I'm going to give you uh, three very short um, uh, case studies about retrofits that we got involved with. Um, and then afterwards, a bit of light relief, I'm going to show a video which actually shows an installation of a, a retrofit. It's only two minutes long. Um, so, let me have a go with this. No, wrong button. Go back to the... So first of all, um, a case study is just to try and inspire you of the different possibilities for retrofits. Um, supermarket refrigeration systems, um, an iconic British brand, Marks and Spencers. In fact, I'm, I'm wearing a Marks and Spencers suit today from the Italian collection. It's one of the more expensive ones. I can't afford bespoke. Uh, I have a wife and two children. They're very expensive. Um, so uh, Marks and Spencers, uh, the project. Um, so this was an upgrade of refrigeration condensers in, in their supermarkets and their convenience stores, the Simply Food convenience stores, um, and it replaced a whole variety of uh, different types of axial fans, 630, 800, 910 millimeter fans. So we have a, all those standard AC induction motor fans. There's also an analogous EC energy efficient fan that'll just drop straight in. Uh, and as you can see, over a three-month period in uh, 2015, February to March, I think, um, they upgraded, Marks and Spencers upgraded 152 stores across the whole of the uh, UK and Ireland. Um, and uh, it took a, a total of 4,150 man hour to do the whole project. So, it's, I mean, bearing in mind these stores are still operational, they're still working and selling, selling food to uh, consumers. So that was the project. Um, the results, well, I had to double check the figures a couple of times myself. The, the total en annual energy reduction from just replacing the fans, uh, 4,600 well, 4, megawatt hours. Um, and the reduction in their energy, uh, annual energy bill of the order of at today's rates, 700,000 US dollars. Um, of course, that's British electricity prices. Um, uh, but still, nonetheless, uh, you know, they, they are real energy figures and real um, uh, uh, um, bill savings. And then also, what they were very interested in is noise reduction, particularly in the convenience stores, which tend to be located in the, the middle of cities. Um, you, get a lot, you can get a lot of complaints from people uh, living nearby about the noise uh, of air conditioning systems and refrigeration systems. So, a reduction in noise. And actually, um, one, also, one other thing that they uh, focused on was that, believe it or not, they had a problem with high ambient temperatures. Now in the UK, that means two days a year you get 28 degrees centigrade. But nonetheless, these chillers are falling over because they're simply not designed to cope with 28 degrees centigrade. So, um, but again, that kind of makes sense. You don't design a system for an absolute peak, you only get two days a year. So. Um, the energy efficient EC fans, uh, they're energy efficient right across a board, broad range of ambient temperatures and can cope with these extreme peaks and yet you're not losing efficiency at part load. So that's number one. 
Uh, another opportunity, data centres. Um, it's a relatively small data centre in London, uh, UBS, uh, Swiss Bank, I think, with UBS. Um, so the, the project was to upgrade some uh, close control uh, air conditioning units, downflow. Um, so those who are not particularly familiar, uh, the, the black box would sit on top of a raised floor and then the, the fan section goes underneath the raised floor and blows the air through the data centre and then up through the IT equipment. Uh, air conditioning is a huge, huge um, uh, problem for, for, for data centres. Uh, and so the challenge here was to reduce the power consumption by 30% and so that they, they could then use that electricity to do something useful, power the IT equipment that they're actually getting paid for. Again, a replacement of uh, a variety of centrifugal blowers this time. Um, and as you can see, uh, nearly 200 fans across uh, 76 units in this uh, 190,000 square foot data center in the center of London. So the results, well actually, the target was to reduce power by uh, 30%. They actually managed 48%, 250 kilowatts. Um, slightly different way of calculating it this, year, uh, this time. Over a four year period, they saved uh, 10,000 megawatt hours um, and uh, returned uh, $885,000 of uh, savings on their electricity bills over a four year period. Uh, payback, just hidden there, I think, but 23 months. For, for the total installation, they, they actually got their return in 23 months. Uh, third one, uh, this is actually in Australia, it's not the UK, it's where we sent our criminals 250 years ago. Um, apparently uh, this is an iconic commercial office building in, in Adelaide, Wakefield House, uh, and the, the, the project was slightly different here, very simple, um, they just wanted to upgrade their air handling units. The problem here was actually that they were failing to meet building code. They weren't getting enough air, and yet the, the old blowers couldn't, uh, had no room to actually improve performance. So here we replaced uh, belt drive, traditional belt drive blowers with uh, EC plug fans. And the, the bottom there you can see a, a very happy Australian uh, with his plug fan. He looks like he's going to try and steal it. But, uh, um, so the results, um, again, much smaller installation, but still here, uh, 9,500 kilowatt hours savings um, and uh, a reasonable saving of uh, 1,400 US dollars per year. But the important thing in this particular installation was they, they managed to increase their airflow by 10% at the same time as reducing their energy bill by 50%, um, and, and that was uh, critical in them meeting their building code and then continuing uh, to, to operate. So that's the three short case studies. I just promised a little bit of light relief. Um, this is a bit of an experiment, this video. Um, it's, got, it's got music, uh, not of my choice. I hope it uh, doesn't offend if it's not too loud. Um, uh, this was, and I think I can still talk about it. It's for young people. Um, so it's an unusual kind of style of air handling unit where they're not using centrifugal fans originally, they're using contra-rotating axial fans. Um, this is in Birmingham Airport, as you've, you've probably seen. So two sets of axial fans. And... Uh, pardon me? Yeah, so, yeah, we, we replace these contra-rotating actual... Yes. Yeah. So these, these EC plug fans, like, uh, like you can see here. And then there's a, a, a time-lapse uh, video of the, the installation itself. So this is it. As I said, an un unusual air handling unit application in the contra-rotating axial fans. Um, I'm reliably informed it took them about uh, one day to remove uh, the team to remove the existing application now. 
And now they're building up a new framework to hold the new centrifugal fans, which again took another day. So the entire operation was, um, was completed in two days. And uh, they're using a, a, a fan grid, a fan array of five centrifugal fans to achieve the same duty. And this actually means rather than one fan, you've got some built-in redundancy as well. So even if one fan fails, you can still maintain duty in an emergency condition um, uh, and uh, the, the plant will still run. But the key factor being that uh, that five fans here replacing one reduce the power by 73% and uh, get a payback in, in 19 months. This is just the one unit, yeah. This is one air handling unit. Yeah. But the, these fan style of fan grid air handling units, we call them fan grid because the there's a, a trademark fan wall by, by Hunter from the US have really sort of grasped the imagination here in, uh, in the Middle East and, and particularly in Saudi Arabia. We sell a heck of a lot of these kind of fans for, for fan grids, fan arrays. Um, now, uh, as opposed to just having a single fan in the application. And it's using five or six fans is quieter, more efficient, lower power than using one single big fan. That's perfect for a fan manufacturer like me. Um, thank you. That's, that's it.